Okay, so super exciting because we've started a new narrative topic, which is The Greatest Showman. And that means that we have a new piece of writing this week, and that is to write a description about Barnum's circus. So the description need, needs to capture Barnum's dream. So this is Barnum here, he's the ringmaster. The dream of what he could achieve, and he wanted his circus to be the greatest one on earth. Okay, so first thing you need to do is you need to watch this video of Barnum's Dream Circus. Now, I've put the link here, I'd only watch the first 30 seconds to a minute. I've also put your link here. Okay, and this is what it should look like. So, I'd recommend pausing my video and watching the first 30 seconds to a minute of this video. Okay, so, um these pictures are from the video that you've just watched, okay? And hopefully the video gave you a flavour of what things happen in his circus. So I've used these three pictures and this is what we're going to use for our planning, okay? So when planning a description, we need to think about our senses. So what would we be able to see, hear, potentially smell? And rather than the sense of touch, I've gone for a feeling, so the atmospheric feeling. So maybe there's excitement in the air or anticipation in the air. Okay, so thinking about our first um, picture, our first paragraph. So I've looked at the three things that I can see in this picture. So I could describe the time of day, it's dark, and the children, they're running eagerly, they're darting, and then the tent is really important. It's a circus and his show it was um, in this, fam this tent using famous stripes, mysterious shadows, buzzing with anticipation and towered height. Okay, for my next picture, paragraph two, I've got, I can see the smoke, the cavalry, which is the horses, and I can see the ringmaster as well. So I've used some adjectives to describe them. So billowed, flamboyant headdresses, which means over the top, and the ringmaster in his vibrant jacket. And then finally, the third screenshot that I've got from the video, I kind of cheated, I put two screenshots into one here for your third paragraph. Um, because we need to have the crowd's reaction in there as part of his show. So I've got the elephants, the assortment of entertainers, and then the crowd's reaction. So I've just grabbed some vocabulary to describe that as well. So adorned in red and gold sashes, you can see the elephants' headdresses, the assortment of entertainers, people of all shapes and sizes, and then the crowd's reaction. So they're cheering and gasping. The greatest show on the planet. Okay, so I've put these pictures here for you to um, grab your vocabulary. Now if you don't have a coloured printer or printer at home, you could do it on a piece of paper and this is just exactly the same, picture one, two and picture three but just without the picture so you could do that on a piece of paper and I've given it there as well if you wanted to print it off. Okay, so I've planned my writing and maybe the next day I begin to start writing. So I'm going to read you mine. So through the darkness they could see it, the bright lights, they had made it to the most exciting show on earth. Darting away from their parents, the children dashed towards the famous stripes, unaware of the splash marks staining their clothes. The giant tent towered above the cars, which had been parked with reckless abandonment. As they approached the opening, they knew all their dreams had come true. So that was my picture one. Okay, picture two. Smoke billowed out as the expectant crowd waited. Gasps could be heard as a figure leapt through the clouds. It was him, P.T. Barnum. Before the crowd could even catch breath, the cavalry arrived in the shape of four majestic horses, upstaged by the flamboyant headdresses their riders wore. And then finally, picture number three. As smoke continued to billow, elephants adorned in red and gold sashes emerged like bookends either side of the entertainers. This was it. The greatest show had begun. P.T. Barnum led, out, led them out, orchestrating every movement. Cheers and gasps in equal measure could be heard from the crowds as their eyes went this way, then that, trying to keep up with the action. Never had a show been as awesome as this. Okay, so we know the structure. We're looking for first um, using the video. We saw the outside of the tent, the show beginning, and then further description about Barnum's show. Okay, so what features could we use to make sure that our writing's really precise and powerful. So we've got powerful adjectives here. Okay, so the famous stripes, the majestic horses, and if you planned correctly, that won't be difficult to include. Fronted adverbials to vary our sentence starters. So as the smoke continued to billow before the crowds could even catch a breath. Short sentences to create suspense. It was him. Powerful punctuation such as an ellipses and an exclamation mark to create excitement. I love 
powerful punctuation. They knew all their dreams were about to come true. Dot, dot, dot. They had made it the most exciting show! Exclamation mark. And then finally, that those use of our senses in our description. So your sight will be what you've described. Um, for noise, I've done cheers and gasps in equal measure. I haven't included smell, so maybe I would go back and edit and add smell, so maybe it would smell like popcorn when you visit a show, or maybe the smoke like might smell like when you blow out your birthday candles for something exciting. I might add a feeling as well, so I might add that the tent was buzzing with anticipation. Okay, so again, if I have a look here, I've got your, um, your link, I've put my example for you to read, I've got my, you can plan it using the pictures, or you could plan it without the pictures on a piece of paper, I've given you both, so you could choose your success criteria, and then I've also given you some publishing paper if you wish to publish, or you could publish it on Word as well, okay? So, finally, just make sure you break your work up into manageable chunks. We wouldn't plan and write a descriptive piece in one day, would we? So make sure you break it up throughout the week, and good luck, can't wait to hear them.